Welcome back to the channel, YouTube. In today's episode, what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, get back to the Drift series. All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to install these shocks that have been sitting around for a while. So stick with me. See you in a sec. See ya. All right, folks, so like the intro said, what we got today is we got the TR60 aluminum shocks from MST. Um, I'll go ahead and put the uh, link to where I got them from in the uh, show notes down at the bottom. But we're going to go ahead and finally get these installed. So little um, package. So here's what you get with the MST uh, TR60 shocks. Um, I did find the black ones, so I know they come in red. Um, there's the shocks, um, but if I'm not mistaken, I do believe there's a little bonus in the bottom here. Let me see. Yep, so it's suspected. All right, it comes with 10 weight mineral oil, which is what I'm going to go ahead and use. Um, oh, yeah, anyway. All right. So, looking at these shocks, All right, initial impression, they're going to look much better and I'm hoping perform much better than the uh, stock shocks. So, go ahead and get this all out there. There we go. Alright, and then you can see all the parts and pieces. Um, Alright, and of course, instructions, which I may or may not read. Um, building shocks is, um, I guess, pretty a uh, straightforward endeavor. Um, tuning them is not, however. We'll get into that probably maybe later. Alright, so let's um, go ahead and start uh, working on these. So building these shocks is a uh, pretty pretty straightforward and simple. Um, let me let me change the camera angle so maybe you can see this a little bit better. There you go. So start off with you have to completely unscrew this the um, adjuster whatever you want to call it. So there you go. All right, if you can see, there's a little groove inside of there. All right, and inside that groove goes a little rubber gasket. Let me get it out. Hmm. Little rubber gasket. You can put a little bit of mineral oil on it. Just to lube it up a little. All right, it just takes a little bit. And then what you want to do is fiddle it in there. The good thing is it'll want to it'll want to sit itself pretty easily. So there you go. Wipe off some of the excess. So that part's done. Get your hands clean. Be sure you have some paper towels. Um, next up is going to be the, the shaft. All right. Hopefully my hands aren't too oily. Um, next is everyone's favorite, right? C-clips. Yeah. See if I get these bad boys out. Not them getting everywhere. I'm going to need two. All right. <clears throat> so there are two C clips. Um, install the first one on the little groove. 
All right, what you want to do is take a pair of needle nose pliers. If you have straight ones, it may be a little bit easier. I just don't feel like going downstairs and getting mine. But, bam, cover it. What you want to do is get it to where it's... And boom, click on. Pretty simple. It's getting them off, right? That's the hard one. Then you get the shock piston. Um, it only comes with one option of sets, the three holes. And then we'll put that on. Very simple. Get the next C clip. Get it a little started. Like yay. And then there you go. Clips on. Pretty simple. So that's done. Next is um get the shock body itself. Go ahead and put that in there. Alright, that's it. Now what we're looking for is the smaller O-rings. Go ahead and put a dab of oil on there. All right. Get nice and lubed up. That goes on. A little, sp little spacer. And then screw it all. Screw this one. Oh, see, almost forgot. Don't forget, this has to go on first. Well, I guess it doesn't really have to, but. What you want to do is be careful not to cross thread it, which is what I'm apparently doing. Throw it up enough to uh, get it out of the way because we'll do fine tune adjustments, make sure they're all even later on. All right, so the piston's in there, the uh, grommet's in there. Oops, wrong one. Not bad. Get this right there. And like I said, I'm going with the um, the 2.5s just because they're in the middle. And I'm not sure which one I want. Sorry, I'm trying to do this on the, behind the camera. It's kind of difficult. Now, this is a tool I picked up many, 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 many years ago. Um, it's, exactly, it's exactly for this. All right. So it has little grooves inside of it specifically to hold shock shafts um, if you do not have something like this be sure and use pliers and put something in between there like a cloth or paper basically what you want to do is protect the sh shock sh shafts from getting scarred up um, I don't even know if this tool still exists again I've had it for about 15 years it works out great and there you go and as you can see Shaft is not marred, not scarred. So that's the initial build of a shock. And then you put in a handy dandy shock holder and they'll be ready for filling here shortly. Um, if you don't have that, if you have this tire tool from MST, it too holds the shocks in place. You just line it up. So 
that works as well silver methods but it just makes life easier when you're trying to fill it all right let me get these uh other two built and then uh we'll hopefully get them on the car So that was relatively painless. Next step is to go ahead and fill the oil into the shocks. All right. So pretty simple. Pistons all the way down. And you just fill. And then it's going to be kind of hard to see. But what you want to do is work the piston slowly up and down to all those air bubbles go away i don't know if you can see that very well in the but see all those air bubbles so it's just a matter of working them to get them all out all right so let me go ahead and uh, do that and then uh, we'll come back all right shocks are filled Next up is going to put the um, the little bladders. Actually, hold on. Basically, what the instructions say is to move the shaft to six millimeters. Um, that kind of essentially is halfway. I mean, if you guys want to measure it, by all means, stick to the instructions and measure it. Um, but six millimeters appears to be about halfway. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, it should work out. We'll call it a swag six millimeters. How about that? All right. So next is get the bladders. What you do is don't press down on them. Just sit them on there and let them sink in. All right. These are actually nice bladders, or yeah, they're nice. They actually have a lip on there, which is kind of nice. Hopefully, it won't be as much of a mess. All right, so there, they're sitting on there. Um, the last step is to go ahead and cap it all off. All right, so what we got, all right. These little pucks, I'm not quite sure exactly what they are, but they do go there in the middle. There we go. Oh, I've got to get the last two out. So you have the top cap, or the top cap goes in through there. Take the shock. And you slowly twist it on. Now be sure to have a shop towel or something ready. Just go ahead and wipe it all off because typically they will, the excess will come out. All right, 
And that's it. I get the uh, next three, and uh, we'll come back. All right, caps are all on. Now the last step is springs, which is pretty easy to do. All right, compress it a little bit there in case you can't get it. Snap the retention collar on and voila. Completed shock. All right, and there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. The TR60 shocks are complete. Now, obviously, um, you know, you want to measure, and, and I have calipers here, before you put them on, make sure they're the same length and all that. Uh, so, um, overall, it's a very, very simple process. Um, wasn't difficult at all. Actually, some of the easiest set of shocks I put together. Quality appears to be good. So, yeah. I um, think they're going to be much better than what's on there. So, alright guys. Thank you for watching this quick video on the uh, TR60 Shocks by MST. Be sure and smash that like and subscribe button. It helps me out and grow on the channel a little bit more. Um, in the next, uh, in the series, we'll go ahead and do the MST turnbuckle set. We'll go ahead and get those installed. And, um, yeah. Alright. Again, thanks for watching. Thanks for riding with me. See you to the next time. See ya!